Welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. I'm of course Nikki and today we have our Owl Crate March 2022 box. My Owl Crate for March 2022 box just arrived. I kind of feel like I stalk my mailman when I know these are out for delivery. So thank you mailman and let's go ahead and open this box and get into it because that's what we're here for. So right off the bat, we do have the artwork, which I always love. Again, I don't know who does this, but I love their art style. I think it's super cute. A lot of times I do hang up these on my wall in my office. But the more important thing is what's on the back, which includes descriptions of what's in the box. And of course, our theme of the month. So Owl Crate March 2022 theme is Artistic Obsession. So we're going to go ahead and open up the literary luggage enamel pin. Oh, and this pin is super cute. I love the kitty, but that's because I'm very obsessed with cats. Not going to lie. This month's literary luggage enamel pin from Hey Atlas Creative takes us into the great library of Summers Hall from the pages of A Sorcery of Thorns. We are swooning over the bookshelves. I entirely agree with that. I, I wish I had a whole room that was just covered in books from wall to wall, from floor to ceiling, with, of course, space for cats because I love them. So this is super cool. I've never seen this come in an owl crate, but it is a age defying face mask powder. So it's fictional Bathco Dorian Gray age defying face mask powder. And I love that quote behind every exquisite thing that existed. There was something tragic. Why age when you could have a portrait in your attic that does it for you? Fiction Bath Co. brewed up this Dorian Gray face mask for all of us who don't have access to our own cursed portraits. And of course, there are instructions on the back. It seems to be very easy to use. Very excited to try this out. So next up, we have this Owl Crate box. And let's look at the back. Night Court Embroidery Kit. This dreamy embroidery kit comes with everything you need to craft a Night Court inspired artwork yourself. Whether you're a beginner or you're already an embroidery enthusiast, this kit was created to be fun and accessible no matter your skill level. That is very cool. That's also something I've never seen in Owl Crate boxes of like an art activity. So it has everything you need. So it does come with needles, thread. And the outline for the embroidery. And then of course the hoop. And if you're like me who just kind of panic that there's no directions, it does have digital directions, so do not panic. I'm actually really excited to use this because I've never embroidered ever and I've always wanted to try. So this is kind of a perfect opportunity for me. So it says here, tap into your own creativity and get crafty with our Night Court Embroidery Kit. Four Seasons Fox created a lovely design inspired by a court of thorns and roses that will look great in any book nook. Scan the QR code on the box to access the detailed PDF instructions as well as a video to make this craft a breeze for even the most novice of embroiderers. Thank God for the instructions because I would not know where to start with this. Next up we have this beauty which is a book sleeve. Quote says, hope makes its own magic. I really like book sleeves just because I do have a habit of carrying my books everywhere. And a lot of times I would just throw them in my purse and not going to lie, they kind of get destroyed, especially if they were soft cover. 
So I do enjoy having book sleeves. They are very helpful. Really digging this artwork. Really liking this. We're in love with the colorful portrait of Caro that Tiara at Bloody Dammit created for our book sleeve inspired by Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I have not read that yet, but it is on my to read shelf. Hopefully one day. So this is super cool. No, this is not the book of the month. It's actually an album book that it looks like it's the size of art prints, which that is super neat. I am running out of space on my walls to hang up art prints. So this is going to be very handy. So it says you're like a living rose among wax flowers. But isn't absurdity part of being human? We aren't ageless creatures who watch centuries pass from afar. Our worlds are small, our lives are short, and we can only bleed a little before we fall. It's a really haunting quote. Stella Bookish Art featured two of our favorite, an enchantment of Raven's quotes on her Fox book cover design that adores our art print album. Use it to organize and keep your art prints or photographs safe. Next up in our Owl Crate March 2022 box is sticker sheets. Love stickers. So artist and author Isabel Ibanez created an artsy sticker sheet for us featuring quotes from Winter Song, The Kingdom of Back, Woven in Moonlight, and Henry Matisse. So, there is music in your soul, a wild and untamed sort of music that speaks to me. Desire is your lifeblood and talent is the flowers it feeds. I weave thread after thread, turning strands into art, turning art into a secret message. Creativity takes courage. That it does. So sticker sheet. All right, bookworms, before we get to the highlight of the Owl Crate box, which in my opinion is the book, that is why I subscribe to Owl Crate, is I wanted a book every month. I do want to remind you all to please subscribe, like, comment, share. I always try to respond to comments as soon as they come in. Please join me at Nikki Loves Books. Subscribe. Look forward to book reviews, which are always non-spoilers. And then I also do book recaps for books that have a sequel, simply because it helps me remember what the heck happened. And I want to help you also. Let's get back to the March 2022 unboxing of Owl Crate. March 2022 Owl Crate book is... A Forgery of Roses by Jessica Olson. A portrait is worth a thousand lies, it says. It's a gorgeous book. I also think that because I love roses. I don't know if any of you guys have seen my artwork. I do make artwork. Um, but a lot of times it does feature roses. I love roses. A Forgery of Roses, the newest release from Jessica S. Olson, is a gothic fantasy murder mystery. We think you'll fall under the spell of this darkly magical and immersive story just as we did. Our signed edition features a widely different exclusive cover designed by Cover Dungeon that brings out the story's gothic vibes. I entirely agree with that. Salome Totsladzi created a swoon-worthy reversible dust jacket art piece for us as well. And I totally agree. This is beautiful. You'll also find an exclusive foil stamp on the hardcover case beneath the jacket, as well as sprayed edges. Continuing on with that gothic theme of that red and black. And as always, there's also an author letter. 
to the readers. We also have the Owl Crate newsletter for March 2022. It features always an interview with the author of the book of the month. There's also the difference between the original cover and the Owl Crate exclusive. And oh my gosh, both of these are beautiful. Look at the, like, seriously, look at this rose. I would have been happy with either cover. Not going to lie, I think, I think I might have liked the regular cover more. But both of them are stunning. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad about the Owl Crate cover at all. Like, it's beautiful in itself, but the regular cover is stunning also. So there's usually always something fun on the next page. And this month we got Spring Cleaning Bookish Edition. So decluttering your shelves, tidying up your to-be-read list. I already do this because I have to. I have so many books. Um, yeah, and my to-be-read list is ridiculously long. We also have book recommendations if you like A Forgery of Roses. So it's for Muse of Fire by Heidi Hellig. Roseblood by A.G. Howard. I've read that one. It was, if I do, I'm not mistaken, I think it might have been an Hour Crate book a few years ago, like when it, that book released. House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. This is also a past Hour Crate book book I believe it is on my bookshelf and I will get to it as soon as I can hopefully we have the interview with one of our vendors which is Tiara I'm gonna butcher this La Homme Dieu and she is the one who did our book sleeve this month there's photo challenge information as well as the Owl Babble, which is a live online interview with the author. This is my favorite thing in the newsletter, and that is the Spotify playlist. So this month's Spotify playlist is Wondering the Halls of Rose Manor. So these playlists are always usually inspired by the theme of the month and or the book of the month. And I love these so much. I've been introduced to artists and songs that I would have probably never come across um, without these playlists. So thank you, Elkray. I love these. I hope we continue them forever. Last but not least in the newsletter is other releases that they were excited about this month. So we have a Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lynn. Blood Scion by Deborah Fillet. A Far Wilder Magic by Allison Saft. The Lost Dreamer by Liz Hirta. And finally, One for All by Lily Lanoff. So that is the last part of our newsletter. Thank you all so much for being here. The last thing we do have from our March 2022 Owl Crate box is, of course, the sneak peek for April. Before we get there, I do want to remind you all that to please subscribe. I would really like to have you all join me again for my next Owl Crate unboxing, but also for my non-spoiler book reviews and then, of course, the full spoiler book recaps. Please like, comment, and share also. I would love to hear from you all. Please tell me if there's anything different that you would like me to do. Let me know what your favorite things were in this Owl Crate box. Is there anything that you're really excited to be getting when you get yours? Again, thank you all for being here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that theme for the April box. It is Peek Behind the Curtain. So again, the theme for the Owl Cray April box is Peek Behind the Curtain. Every April box will include an item from Forensic and Flowers. Very exciting. 
peek behind the curtain. That concludes our Owl Crate March 2022 unboxing. Thank you all again for being here. Hope to catch you next time for my next unboxing video and of course my book reviews and book recaps.